Welcome to SOS Media, your number one source of the latest news, opinions, and in-depth investigations that dig deeper into today's developing stories around the globe. Atlanta rapper Young Thug, whose real name is Jeffrey Williams made his first appearance at the Fulton County Courthouse in Atlanta on Thursday, December 15, 2022 and was subsequently indicted in a RICO case early this year. His trial is finally set to begin on November 27, 2023. The most notable instance to date of rap on trial is finally about to get underway in Atlanta. After a jury selection process whose length broke state records, the YSL RICO trial is set to begin on November 27, 2023. Judge Gerald Glanville, Fulton County prosecutors and defense attorneys vetted more than 600 people to determine the best set of jurors for the high-profile case. Multi-platinum rapper Young Thug, also known as Jeffrey Williams is the most well-known defendant standing trial. He's facing eight counts in the 65-count indictment with prosecutors alleging that he's the leader of a subset of the Bloods called Young Slime Life, that they claim are responsible for murders and other violence in the Atlanta area. Last year, on May 9, 2022, Fulton County prosecutors announced the indictment of Williams as well as rapper Sergio Gunna Kitchens, Arnold Lil Duke Martinez, Diamani Yakgadi Kendrick, William's brother Quanavius Unfunk Greer and 23 other people that District Attorney Fani Willis, accused of being part of a YSL criminal organization. Their defense attorneys have repeatedly stated their innocence, with William's lawyer Brian Steele saying that Williams committed no crime whatsoever, and that they will fight to their last drop of blood to clear him. The prosecution's usage of lyrics Music videos and social media posts as evidence has sparked outrage from criminal justice reform advocates, who see this as a First Amendment violation that exemplifies the racially motivated criminalization of rap. The 65-count indictment charges 28 people with crimes such as murder, attempted murder, armed robbery, aggravated assault with a deadly weapon, theft, drug dealing, carjacking, racketeering and witness intimidation. The indictment claims that YSL isn't just a record label named Young Stoner Life, but a gang called Young Slime Life that's been operating since 2012 and has affiliation with the National Bloods Gang, with some members also claiming the Blood subset gangs as Money Murder or 30 Deep. Young Thug is charged with eight counts, conspiracy to violate the racketeer-influenced and corrupt organizations, participation in criminal street gang activity, three counts of violating the Georgia Controlled Substances Act, possession of a firearm while committing a felony and possession of a machine gun. The latter six charges stem from items that police retrieved during the May 9, 2022 raid of Williams' Atlanta home. His legal team maintains that he is innocent of all charges. The most serious allegation Williams faces is the prosecution's assertion that he was involved in the 2015 murder of Donovan Big Nut Thomas Jr., an alleged Inglewood Blood gang member who was fatally shot outside an Atlanta-area barbershop. Thomas aided Atlanta rapper YFN Lucy who is a rival of Young Thug at the outset of his career, and Fulton County District Attorney Fonnie Willis claims the shooting sparked a rivalry between the YSL and YFN crews, which in turn created violence like Atlanta has never seen before. Prosecutors allege that Williams rented the Infinity sedan that was used in commission of Thomas' murder, and co-defendant Antonio Monk Tunk Sledge will reportedly testify that Thug gave him money to lay low after Thomas' murder. Thug's lawyers again vehemently deny this. The indictment frames Williams as a gang leader, noting an alleged conversation in which two co-defendants are said to have discussed how to get permission from young Thug to kill Rashawn Bennett, commonly known as YFN Lucy and what the payment would be to do so. Elsewhere, the indictment claims Williams made YSL a well-known name by referring to it in his songs and on social media, referencing nine songs from his catalogue. The rapper is facing up to 20 years in prison. As of now, nine defendants in the case have taken plea deals, Sergio Gunna Kitchens, Walter Murphy, Wani Slime Life Shoddy Lee, Arnold Lil Duke Martinez, Trontavius Tick Stevens, Antonio Monk Tunk Sledge, Antonio Obama Sumlin, Williams' brother Quanavius Unfunk Greer and Darren T. BB who had initially refused a plea deal, but reached one on November 3rd, being sentenced to 15 years, five years in prison and ten on probation. On December 14 last year, Kitchens pled guilty to one count of racketeering conspiracy and was immediately released after being given a one-year sentence that was commuted to time served, 
a five-year suspended sentence, and 500 hours of community service. Footage of his offered plea hearing went viral and some were outraged to hear him affirm the prosecution's claim that YSL is a criminal organization. Still, a source close to Kitchen said in December that the rapper won't be testifying during the trial, which is the only way that those comments could be used in court against his co-defendants. Stevens also pled guilty to racketeering and was sentenced to 10 years, but received two years' time served and eight years of probation. In his plea statement, he affirmed the prosecution's claim that Thug blamed him and other YSL members in a group chat, expressing why they have not yet beaten or shot an unknown individual. Greer pled out to one count of violating the RICO Act and one count of theft by receiving stolen property. He was sentenced to 12 years with two years being commuted to time served, and the remaining 10 years being served on probation. He also has to complete 750 hours of community service and avoid contact with his brother or any other individuals in the indictment. He's been quiet, but has apparently been communicating his feelings about the case through other people. Days after his release late in 2022, Unfunk took to Instagram Live to indirectly reveal that the stipulations of his plea preclude him from using certain terms that the indictment classifies as gang terminology. During the video one of his friends says, we can't even wipe our nose, and someone else says, I can't say that. He had to go back in his album and redo lyrics. In May 2023, Greer was arrested and charged with possession of a firearm by a convicted felon and participation in a criminal street gang, as well as window tint and seatbelt violations after a traffic stop in Atlanta. Though Jeffrey Williams' young thug wasn't granted bond before the YSL trial, his defense has scored some legal victories that will help his case during court proceedings. On December 16, 2022, Judge Glanville ruled to suppress evidence the prosecution had seized from a phone that was confiscated from him in 2015. Glanville agreed with a defense motion arguing that the phone was retrieved in an unconstitutional search and should have been returned in 2017. A week prior, Steele filed a motion to suppress Williams' lyrics as evidence in the case. Steele stated that using these lyrics, poetry and artistry speech against Mr. Williams is racist and discriminatory because the jury will be so poisoned and prejudiced by them as same as unlawful character assassination. But as viral footage of Glanville reading Young Thug's slime s lyrics indicates, his lyrics have still been used in the courtroom. Earlier in the court proceedings during a June 2022 bond hearing, Prosecutor Don Geary read dozens of lyrics from Young Thug tracks as evidence for why he believed the artist is a danger to the community, and shouldn't be freed before trial. In August of last year, Fulton County Diafani Willis was defiant about using lyrics in cases stating that, people can continue to be angry about it, I have some legal advice, don't confess to crime on rap lyrics if you do not want them used, or at least get out of my county. Let's wait for the second part of this story. Thank you for watching today's video brought to you by SOS Media. If you haven't subscribed to our channel yet, please subscribe, and hit the bell icon so you never miss any of our videos. Also remember to leave your comment about today's topic in the comment section below.